Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. I definitely send you guys lots of love, light, healing energy, and hell of abundance. You guys already know how much I love and appreciate you all. Sorry, I'm having a hair day. Bad hair day. Sorry, guys. Um, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you all. XOXO. Send in my love. So let's hop in, my loves, and let's see what's going on with you guys as a collective for today. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading. It is a collective reading. So it's for all the zodiac signs. Please do only take what resonates with you. Never force it to fit your situation. Alrighty. Um, because I keep seeing comments about this tarot deck. Let's just clear this up really quick. This is a Gregory Scott tarot deck. Alrighty. I've already put it in the comments and I posted it in the chat yesterday. I got it off Amazon. It was about 25 bucks. I got it a while ago, but I'm sure it's still on Amazon. Alrighty. For those of you that are interested. A lot of you guys keep asking um, if I would please put my decks in the description box. I have way too many decks. So, no, I'm not doing that. Okay? Um, I'm sorry in advance. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm just not going to do it because it's just it would just take up too much in my description box. All right? I love you guys, but that's just that's time consuming. That's just a waste of time for me right now. Okay? Because I have way too many decks, and I honestly don't even think they will all fit in the description box. Okay? Um, but that is the name of this Navy deck. All right, this navy blue deck. So let's hop in, loves. Let's see what's going on with you guys today. In love. Let's see if I resonate with you guys. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. So let's hop in, my loves. And let's see what's going on. Actually. The package is here, so give me one second, guys. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. I am back. So let's hop into this reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys for today. Today is January the 26th. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Love messages. Love, 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 love. Right, let's see. all about guys let's see messages for the collective when it comes to this person and what they're all about what is the collective's what is the collective's person all about what are they all about what are they all about the hey man in reverse could be a pisces five of cups in reverse five of pentacles so they're having a hard time letting go they're having a hard time moving on okay um, from you or from a situation at the bottom of the deck. We have the page of swords So communication could be coming in very soon. Okay. Yeah with the four of swords in reverse There's communication coming in this person realized something or it's like they see something differently, but They're having a hard time moving on. Okay, the hey man in reverse is telling me that they're trying to free or release or detach themselves from a situation Okay, um, are they gain enlightenment? Or maybe it may be a little bit too late. Okay, um, because how the hangman is in reverse and the, the light is shining around the per, around the hangman, it's like they gain enlightenment. It's like it's kind of like telling me like this person is having a hard time moving on, or they're realizing like you have moved on. Okay, because the five of cups is in the reverse. So if it was an upright, see like you were hurt, and the two of cups is here, and you were waiting for this person, and they never came through, they never showed up, they were never serious about the relationship, the commitment, or they just let you down, and then you got tired of drowning in your emotions, living in regrets, stuff like that. Are just having regrets about the situation. It's in reverse. So whatever was in these two cups, whatever feelings, love, emotion, it's upside down. It's all poured out. So it's telling me that they may feel like you're just over them. You know, like that you're done. That you no longer want their cup. Like you no longer want to be with them. We have the five of pentacles here. All right, there's barbed wire here. Okay. And it's like this person, I don't know. It's like they want to be free or they're trying to free themselves or 
it's like they're having a hard time moving on. Maybe they just feel stuck. They feel like they can't get to the other side. They feel like they can't come towards you and offer you something. It can be money. It can be finances holding them back. But at the same time, when I see this, five of pentacles here, five of cups, some major changes that need to happen in their life. You know, they gain enlightenment on things that they need to change, things that, things that they need to fix, things that need to be different between you guys if you guys are to be together. All right. Um... But let's see, because we have the five of pentacles here, all right? So, like, this person is, like, they're going through a lot, or they're just having a hard time moving on from you, okay? They can't see themselves moving on. Even if they are moving on, it's like they haven't moved on, okay? Let's see, y'all, the five of pentacles here. What's the five of pentacles? Clear about the five of pentacles. Y'all, the five of pentacles here. The chariot in reverse, they do feel stuck. Okay, for some of you guys, it's a car issue or they're dealing with car issues or they just have no way to get to you, okay? But for others of you, they do feel stuck. They don't know if they're coming or going, okay, um, right now. And they're all in our head. For some of you guys, someone is locked up, okay? So when I see the five of pentacles with the bob wire, maybe they're like in prison, even though they don't have a prison suit on. But it's like someone is like, they just can't wait to be free. They want to be free. Okay, but this person does feel stuck. They don't know if they're coming or going. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces here. Okay, or a Scorpio. And like I said, we have the Eight of Swords. So someone's definitely in their head. All right, about this situation. They're like, fuck what I get myself into. They're like, my person doesn't care about me no more. Because they feel like you don't care about them anymore. They feel like you're done. You know, it's a wrap. But this is what they're all about, though, okay? So let's see how the Five of Cups is coming up in reverse with, for this person. Ten of Cups. They want to heal their, They want to heal this relationship with the Ten of Cups, Five of Cups in reverse. Whatever's going on between you guys, they want to heal this relationship. Okay? So let's see the King of Wands. And that's what they're focused on, taking action, pursuing you, healing the relationship with the King of Wands. Being here, Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. It's going to take them some time. Four of Wands. Okay, the higher font. They want marriage. They want to come together. But they also feel like what they're offering right now are... What they're offering right now, you still may say no. Okay? You still may not accept this offer because it's the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a karmic card to me. Okay? Because it's like with the Page of Pentacles, it's like, where do we go from here? The Page of Pentacles is an offer, but it's like, it's not much. And it's also, it's, it's not like, it's kind of like a testing your relationship. Like, okay, I made this offer. We're together now. Now let's build a relationship. Pay the pentacle to still a page. So even though they're making an offer, it's like the offer may not be serious. Okay, even though it's earth energy, this may be someone that leads you on forever. Or the page can be someone that like, say if it's like, sometimes when I see the, the knight of cups and the page in reverse, pay the pentacle to reverse with the knight of cups. It's like, that's someone that will like ask you to marry them or give you a ring. And then it's like, you're waiting four or five, six, seven, eight years until you guys set a date. That's too fucking long. I might as well have this stage your girlfriend or you might as well just broke up with me, in my opinion. Because it's like, if you're going to get engaged to someone, like, what's the point of wearing a ring for like six, seven, eight years? There's no date. There's no wedding. There's no nothing. And that's what the Page of Pentacles will do sometimes in reverse because, or even in the upright, because they're making the offer so that you can wait, so that you can hold on. But it's like, you, you don't know when they're going to, like, their next move. You don't know what's going to happen next. It's a page. Okay? The night is a little bit more... I don't know. The night, it moves slow too, but it's like they're a little bit more serious, okay? But at this point, I feel like whatever they're offering or whatever they're saying, I feel like, you know, you're just like, you're tired of the excuses. You may feel like what they're offering is just not enough and that maybe it would never be enough. We have the five of pentacles. It looks like both of you guys are kind of having a hard time moving on from this person and from this situation, from this relationship, but they do want to heal this relationship. They do. This person definitely wants to heal the relationship, um... So it looks like they want to heal this relationship and start over is what I'm getting. This is what they're all about. But to see the Ten of Cups, the Ten also can be an ending with the Five of Cups reverse. And they're like, damn, I have my happy ever after. I had the person that I wanted to be with, the person I wanted to marry. I had the person I wanted to have children with and build and grow with. But that's, you know, that, that may not be guaranteed. It's over. Maybe I just need to suck it up and let it go and move on because we have the Queen of Swords here. But it's like, like I said, a 10 can be an ending, something that's done, completed. So it's like they had their chance and they kind of blew it with you guys. And now they're realizing that they just need to move on and move forward um, and let go. And that this relationship just may not move forward, okay? But 
And let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. All right, let's see why the Ten of Cups here. We're going to the Ten of Cups. Why the Ten of Cups here? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, they had their chance in the past. They blew up. They they blew it. They fucked up in the past. They they messed up in the past. But the sun is here. So like this person, like I said, is hoping that they can heal this relationship. They're hoping that you'll give them another chance, okay? It's kind of like they're like, no, I wasn't thinking in the past. I wasn't in my right mind in the past. I'm different now. The person I was in the past versus the person I am now is I'm, I'm a different person. I'm just different, you know, stuff like that. Now, this can also be new love, okay? If this is new love and this is someone that has come into your life, with the sun and the hangman in reverse, they've been through some shit in relationships. And they know, like, where they went wrong. Their flaws, what they did, what they didn't do. And it's like, this time around, they want to move forward in a more positive way to where whatever, like, if, like if you guys ever have any ups and downs or mishaps in the relationship, they want to be able to heal it and fix it right away and not, like, focus on the past, meaning that, like, in the past, maybe they would have gave up. Maybe they would have just broken with the person, walked away, hurt that person or whatever they went through in the past. They don't want that to happen in, in this relationship with you. So, it can, I see it both ways, okay? Um, and if you guys did get into it recently, they do want to heal this inner thinking about the past, but they kind of feel stuck because they're in a, they're, they feel like they're in a position or a situation that they just don't want to be in. And it's like, they kind of feel like, damn, the universe challenged me. It brought back old memories, old feelings, old thoughts, old something. It's the will of fortune in reverse, okay? So... It's like, I feel like the universe could have tested this person if this is new love, even if it's, even if this is you, because I feel like they want to see how this person is going to go about it. What are they going to do? What, what steps are they going to take? Are they going to fix it? Are they really going to heal it? Are they going to just give up? You know, what are they going to do? If this is the person they really want to be with, or if you're the person they really want to be with, how are they going to handle this situation? Okay. They can't keep running. They can't keep making mistakes. They keep, can't keep asking for forgiveness and this and that. So let's see how the will of fortune is reversed. But for others of you. This is someone that you know, okay? And they can't seem to move on, all right? And like I said, they would really love to heal this relationship with you and start over. Um, but let's see. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Go to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. See the Star in reverse, okay? So the Star in reverse is losing hope, losing faith, giving up. But the Star in reverse can also be that this person may feel like you are everything to them. Because the star in reverse can also be like, I'm never going to, you know, meet the person in my dreams. I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to have true love. I'm never going to experience that. And it's like with temperance being here, and then I see the will of fortune reverse in the cups. Yes, it is. Yes, this can happen. It will happen. It could happen. But whoever this is, whether it's you or them, even though we're asking what they're all about, this person is very doubtful. Okay? So this person feels like they messed up. There's no fixing this. You guys can't fix this. Past our new love, it doesn't matter. Okay, because the stars in reverse with the will of fortune reverse could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius you guys are dealing with, or a Cancer, or this can be like an Aquarius Sagittarius relationship with the star in reverse. Look, see Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, we have wow, the Empress. Wow, this can be a um, a Libra or definitely a Taurus for sure, or maybe you guys have Taurus in your chart. But whoever this is, it's like they really do respect you. They really think highly of you. They see you as not just the queen of pentacles, but as the empress as well. Okay? And this is someone that would love to be with you. They see you as very nurturing, love, loving. They see you as, like, respectful. Um, ooh, the empress, her little waist is snatched. So some of you guys could have got some body work done. Okay? Or some of you guys are, like, tall and petite. Like, you gotta, like, you're, you know, you have a small waist, stuff like that. Some of you guys love to wear dresses. I feel like dress a dress brings out your figure. Or, like, someone just loves to wear dresses in, like, the spring and the summertime. She has on strappy sandals, so some of you guys love strappy sandals. They're gold. Maybe you owe a, um, own a pair of gold strappy sandals. But to see all the flowers, the fruit, the pentacle, everything, it's like, this is beautiful. Like, you are, like, this is amazing. Because it's like, Queen of Pentacles and the Empress is someone that's a great manifester. Like I said, she's loving, she's caring, she's nurturing. She's a great mother. She makes a good wife. Okay? And everybody's, like, staring at the Empress. So maybe when you're out with this person, you get a lot of attention. People are always staring at you, looking at you. 
for some of you guys you're in the public eye and you're trying to keep your relationship a secret or you keep your relationship a secret that may also be an issue there may be a social media issue here too okay because someone feels like someone is not posting them or someone wants to get posted or someone feels like if we're in a relationship why not post me okay but someone doesn't want to draw attention you know to their social media or someone just wants to keep the relationship kind of like not i wouldn't say discreet but i would say like someone feels like putting other people in the relationship or letting other people know about the relationship may cause problems and issues within the relationship whether this is new or in the past okay so let's pull a card and see wow and look as soon as i took my cards out look what's at the bottom gossip that's what i'm saying so for some of you guys someone see the gossip and new love and destiny someone doesn't want someone to know about their new relationship or someone doesn't want someone to know that you guys just got back together or that you're working it out or someone just doesn't want someone to know about the relationship because they feel like they're going to say something you guys can be dealing with a mature man okay um or maybe this person feels like they have matured in some type of way with the mature man card because that's what came out let's see how mature man is here we have the four of pentacles okay so i feel like this person with the four of pentacles for some of you guys you've known this person for you know four years or right under four years and i feel like with the mature man i feel like it took some time for this person to mature and grow and that's what they're doing like it's like they they have matured they're different you know for others of you this person could be like four years older than you so there could be a four year age difference between you and this person um so i don't know we have courting man i'm here in under 40 i feel like whoever you guys are dealing with they're like right at like 36 37 38 under 40 for some of you guys this person could be older or maybe that's your age all right but that's what we're getting we have mature man here okay so like i said maybe someone matured in this situation there's an age difference or this is how old the person is we have brunette female so some of you guys have green eyes or like a hazel eye or like colored eyes someone is wearing like pink lipstick pink nails or like a purplish lipstick purple nails okay All right, so um, let's see what's going on with this mature man. This is what they're all about. We're going to see how they feel about you guys next, and then I'm going to look in to see how you feel about this person. So let's see why mature man is here. Messages for the collective. I am using my Fire Intuition Oracle deck. The link to all my decks are in the description box below. So let's see the mature man. Why is the mature man here? Going to the mature man. Why is the mature man here? Oh, damn. Wow. All these cards flew out. All right. So we have, I manifested you. So maybe you manifested this person. Maybe they manifested you. Maybe this is the situation that is now finally manifesting and coming together. We have, I don't have time for your shit. So yeah, for some of you guys, this is a past love. And you're like, I don't have time for your bullshit. For some of you guys, this could be a new love. And maybe they did something for you to feel like that. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have, I love you suspiciously. Okay. So it's like you have your suspicions. You're like, I don't know. You're like, I don't know how I really feel. Okay, so let's see. You're like, I don't know if this is fixable. I don't know if I want to fix this. Um, and I love that you guys see yourself worth and value. And I also, like I said, I feel like whoever this is, it's like they've never dated someone like you. I do not feel like that. And I feel like the last thing they want to do is lose someone like you. I don't. I, the last thing they want to do is lose you, okay, is what I'm definitely getting. So let's see why um, I don't have time for your shit is here. Why is, I don't have time for your shit here? We have the death card in reverse. So for some of you guys, this is someone from the past. This can be a Scorpio, all right? And you're calling judgment on this situation. Judgment is, should I forgive them? Should I give them a second chance? You know, should I heal this relationship? Should I, re, you know, um, reconnect with this person with the Three of Cups? Okay, now for some of you guys, your friends are going to try to bring you guys back together, especially if this is love. They feel like you guys are doing great. This is a good relationship, but I don't know. We're going to see. We have, I used to feel lost without you. And then we have, I have good intentions. So this is the energy for the mature man. I just put the cards here because I wanted you guys to see because it's like the mature man is kind of blocked off and you guys can't see the energy. Well, you guys can't, see, not the energy, you guys can't see the cards. See, so this is the mature man. Okay, and that was the four of pentacles that came out. And it says, I have good intentions. So let's see what's going on with this. I have good intentions card. I have good intentions. So let's see. Five of wands in reverse. Okay, so this person doesn't want to argue with you. They don't want to fight with you anymore. They're willing to compromise. But they also feel like if they open up or say something to you, you might be kind of upset. Okay, with the five of bonds reverse, you you maybe, you know, 
you may bark, okay, with the five of wands reverse. For some of you guys, you may be upset. There may be like, you know, you like it, the five of wands reverse sometimes can be like they're trying to approach you and like your approach is not what they think it's going to be. Or you may still be kind of mad about what happened. Maybe you felt like, you know, like I thought, you know, you were going to have good intentions. Maybe you felt like, you know, their intentions aren't good. Or maybe you feel like they just weren't being real, being honest. The mature man could be someone a little bit older than you guys and with the four of pentacles holding back information. So you guys may feel like, you know what, like, because for some of you guys, you may feel like, you know what, like, I'm just repeating my past, you know, and I don't have time for this and I don't want to deal with this. I am the queen of pentacles and the empress. Well, you guys are the empress because the empress energy is better than the queen of pentacles. But both of these are good because it's like you're living good, eating good, sleeping good. You're doing good, driving good work, like your, your career, finances, everything looks good. And with that empress, that's just topping it off. Okay. All right. And like I said, some of you guys are just getting a lot, a lot, a lot of attention. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a, like a goldish or like a yellowish goldish dress that you guys have that you guys wore. And she has a crown on. Okay. Maybe some of you guys like have like a little tiara or a crown. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Let's see how they feel towards you guys. See how do they feel towards you? We have Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. They are stressing. They're stressing out. They're stressing out. They're burdened. They got a lot going on. All right. So let's see how the Eight of Swords is here. The Eight of Swords is here twice. All right. Um, let's see, why is the Eight of Swords here? For a few of you guys, they think you're lying. They think that you're talking to your child's father. Still, or still want to be with that person. Or right, for some of you guys, you're lying about talking to your child's father. Because you have the Seven of Swords looking back at the two children and the Ten of Wands there. And I feel like at times you guys may talk bad or talk down on like the father of your child or the mother of your child. And you may say shit, you know, but it's like you still love this person and you still like want to be with them or there's still love there. And they may feel like, you know, you're being shady and lying and keeping secrets from them for some of you guys. Or you may feel like they're talking to the mother of their child um, or the father of their child. But let's see how the Eight of Swords is here um, and their feelings towards you. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. They know that you're waiting for them to come towards you. They know that you're waiting for them to apologize. Okay? But the Queen of Cups reverse with the Eight of Swords is like, they don't know what to expect. Like, I, it's like, because it's like, it's not a bipolar energy, guys. And I'm not trying to say like, like, like being rude. I'm trying to say it in a way like, because the Queen of Cups in reverse Eight of Swords, like one minute you're, you're all in, you want the relationship. Next minute you don't. One minute you're just overwhelmed with emotions and love and you can't seem to get this person off your mind. Then the next minute you're just like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then the Knight of Cups is here. So for some of you guys, they don't even know how to approach the situation. Okay? Three of Pentacles with the, with the Knight of Cups. So do they want this relationship and do they want to work on the relationship? They do. Okay? But they just don't know how you're going to approach the relationship. They don't know what you're going to say, how you're going to react. Um, I feel like um, they triggered you or did something to you because the Queen of Cups are reverse. Sometimes she can be a little nutty, you know, not to say it like that, but she can, you know, she can, you know, like she can, you know, get a little crazy, get a little nutty. All right. Um, sometimes her emotions get the best of her. All right. So let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. The Six of Cups. Yeah. But this isn't thinking about you and all the stress in. Like, they're thinking about you and all the stress they caused you, the relationship, the burdens, not a cup to reverse. They understand why you're not happy, okay? Um, for some of you guys, it's also the fact that you may have told them that this was certain, like, this is what you went through with your child's father or, your, or the mother of your child or the father of your child and stuff like that. And you, they feel like they're repeating history, okay? That can be why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. We have the Page of Wands. Um... I will say for some of you guys, you one of your sons, Pedro Wong's, is nosy, okay? Watch what you say around them, right? So they go back and say stuff or they may tell or say something or may tell like the um, the dad or tell the mom or something like that. 
but they're nosy, okay? And they like to stay up in the business and they're always in the business, okay? It could be a little fire sign child. It could be an air sign child. Um, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So it looks like like the kids or someone knows about a breakup um, between you guys. And they, and they are waiting to see if you guys are going to get back together. Or, I don't know, I feel like they asked a child a question or something like that, did they? The Hermit and the Queen of Swords, yeah. Um, if you guys are separated, they've been asking the child questions. You know, like, who is your mom dating? Like, is that person a good person? Or, you know, like... Oh, one day me and your mom are going to be back together or me and your dad are going to get back together. It could be this stuff like that. Okay. But right now they know like, I don't know. They just feel like they don't know how to like kind of approach you. They feel like um, they don't know how you're going to respond or react. They know you're not happy with them. They do miss you. Okay. They do want to come back. This person is miserable. They're sad. They're lonely. They miss you. Eight of Cups is in reverse. They really want to reach out and say something to you. Nine of Wands is here. They feel like you're going to push them away. They feel like you're going to, you know, block them out or like you're guarded. Because we have, like, this person has one wand in their hand. So they may feel as if you feel like you're free. You're free from them and their bullshit, um, their burdens, their stress, whatever they've caused you. They may feel like you feel like you're, like, free from it. You know, like, yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. Okay, so let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Why the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, they're trying to think of a way to come back, okay? And the Ace of Pentacles is a solid offer. It's an offer that can grow. Meaning, like, remember I told you how I feel about the Page of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles, now that's an offer you take. And it's with the Sun. So, for some of you guys, they do want to heal this relationship and come back. But there's a delay in this for some of you guys. Why? Because the Eight of Wands reverse with the Emperor reverse. It's telling me that with the Empress, this may be your divine masculine. But for some of you guys, this person is already in a commitment or married. And that can be why the Ten of Wands is there. And that could be why the, the children were there. And why the Nine of Cups is there in reverse with the Six of Cups. Yeah, they miss you. They want to be with you. But there's a relationship. There's children involved. And they're thinking of how they're going to separate from their person now. Okay? And I feel like whoever they're with, though, see how the sword is there? Okay, this it's in the table. It's like it's telling me like at this point, whoever they're with, it's like this person know like they're not talking anymore. They're not give. They're not saying anything, they're not gonna fight it anymore. So if they were to walk away and leave, this Queen of Swords is like all right, bye. You know. So it's like let's see why is the Queen of Swords here? This Queen of Swords is like okay, bye. For those of you that are um, in a third party situation, let's see why is the Queen of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. And Ace of Cups. They may also feel like this person still loves you or loves you. And they know it. This person is also realizing whoever this person is that they're with. They're realizing that with the Five of Swords. Like they're tired of arguing outside the sword is in the table. And that they can't force that person or, you know, keep that person or hold on to that person. And that person not want to be with them or not still be in love with them. Even though the Ace of Cups is there, let's see. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And we have the Six of Swords. They know that this person is, is wanting to come out of the relationship and move on. Okay? So, at this point, they're like, you know what? There's no point in me stopping it anymore like it is what it is. Sorry, guys. I had to take off my sneakers and put my Birkenstocks on. I've been in gym shoes all day. All right. So, let's see. Why is the emperor in reverse? Judgment. See, the emperor needs to make a decision. Okay? The emperor got himself in a situation. And we have with the four of wands. But the problem and issue is, I said for some of you guys, they are married, they're committed, they live with someone. Now, what I'm also seeing is that this person recently got married. For some of you guys, someone got married under a year ago. Less than a year ago. Okay? They could have got married like 2020, like right before the whole COVID and everything hit. And it's like they got married and like, instantly wanted a divorce or they want a divorce or it's like all 2020 they've been trying to get a divorce been trying to you know get the divorce papers been trying to go to the court all of that and everything has been delayed for them but someone got married and the the marriage didn't even last a few months okay and they hear that from you and you found out or that's what you're gonna find out or you did find out for some of you guys the person you're dealing with 
I was, I mean, me, whoever I like date, like date, date, if, if it's serious, if it's serious, I'm going to like, I'm going to look that person up. And that's just me. And I do it for my own safety because I want to know who I'm dating and talking to. And I feel like some people lie about certain things or certain people are embarrassed about their backgrounds and certain things. You know, some people lie about marriages and stuff like that. And if, what if I get serious one day and I want this person around my kids and stuff, I have to, you know, play it safe for me and my children. So I look the person up. Like I'll go online and I'll look them up and, you know, see what they're all about and stuff like that or see what I can, you know, find out or whatever. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, for for some of you guys, that's what you're, you're needing to do. And when you do that, you're going to find out that this person is either married or like there's a pending divorce or there's something that has to do with court issues, legal issues, something like that. All right. Someone could be holding on to someone for money. And this queen of swords is realizing that that person didn't want anything from them but money or it was all about money. This was a business relationship or a business marriage. They got married f to this person, you know, for money reasons. It doesn't mean that they had to use this person. It could have been because, like, this person could have helped them put businesses in their name or, you know, like, this stuff like that. So, let's see how they're feeling towards you. Let's see how this person feels towards you. We have calling in your soulmate. Okay? So, yeah, for some of you guys, they are calling you in. They were calling you in. Or they were looking for new love. Okay? And then we have release your ex. All right? Followed by unrequited love. And give your relationship a chance. So they're gonna they want another chance, okay? They're hoping that you're gonna give this relationship a chance. All right. So let's see, calling in your soulmate. We have the strength card. So a lot of you guys can be thinking about this person. I've been thinking about this person a lot lately, and that's because they're calling you in. See how like this person is like is like the brain, the mind. They're on your mind constantly because this person is manifesting you. They're calling you in, they're thinking about you, they're speaking of you, they're looking at your pictures. And stuff like that. So you guys may be thinking about this person a lot. Or maybe this person has been on your mind a lot lately. Or you can't seem to get them off your mind. And that's why. Okay. During your dreams. You guys are talking to each other. Um, in your dreams. And then we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And we have the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So. King of pentacles in reverse. Let's see. Followed by the chariot. Yeah, they're definitely trying to move on and free themselves from someone. The king of pentacles reverse to the chariot. They've been ready. They're ready to come out of that relationship. And they're soon about to be out of that relationship. And once they're out of that relationship, then it's on and popping for some of you guys. But someone is definitely releasing an ex. Okay? Um, now, brothers of you, you think about this person all the time, but you release them and you let them go. And they know it. We have the page of pentacles here. We have the ace of cups. Someone wants to be a family again. Some of you guys have a child, just one child. They want to be a family again. They want to work things out. They want to offer you some type of new beginning. It could be a cancer, but they're scared. They're shy. They're kind of holding back. Um, they know that you moved on, but they're not saying much. You're always on their mind. They're always calling you in. If it's a water sign, they want you to come towards them, or they want you to say something to them. They're not going to say anything. They it, it will go to the grave. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that they'll love you to the day they die and not say nothing. Or they'll say something to you like 10 years later. Okay, so I don't know. Someone's going to have to, I don't know. I wouldn't say go towards them, but they're not going to say anything. Not right now. Okay, um, even though this person wants to heal this relationship here and start over. Mm, four, four, four. It might take the. It might take a lot out of them, you know, to renew this relationship, to reconnect with you. Is my number book over there? I wanted to look something up. Get your life together, Ash. Is it over here? I was just looking at it earlier. Oh, that's right. It's in my room. All right, so, um, yeah, so let's see why the unrequited love card is here. Three of Cups. So, yeah, this isn't one to make it up to you. Five of Swords, reverse communication coming in. So, we have three fives here. Yeah, we need some top of new beginning, but for others of you, you guys have, you guys are talking to a few people. And you're just over this situation. You're over them, the situation. You're over their ass, and you're just ready to move forward. Okay, um, but I do see new love in this reading. Okay, so like I said, for some of you guys, you know, like there could be new love, 
I feel like someone made an accident or did something or you found something out or something happened, you know. So, I don't know. I feel like you guys are going to make up. I feel like it's not as bad as it may seem, you know, for some of you guys. But if this is new love, I just feel like if this is new love, then there's a lot of past energy lingering around are still around you guys. Let me see if this is new love. What's going on? Yeah, if this is new love, you're just confused. Okay, the Seven of Cups is here. And we have it with the higher font. Definitely a lot of confusion. And the moon is here. So, it's like, I feel like with the moon, it's, it could be the fact that you feel like they're lying. You feel like they're keeping something hidden. You feel like they're keeping a secret. Why is the moon here? King of Pentacles are in reverse. In the higher font. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that this is new love. It's going to be the past person. Okay. Um, I mean, this is in, I mean, for some of you guys, you're, you're dealing with someone and something happened when they were a child, the opposite sex. Okay. I mean, with the same sex, something happened with them, with, um, when they were a child with the same sex, or you're going to find out that, um, like if you're a guy watching, you're talking to a guy. They have a whole situation. They have a whole family, wife, everything. Okay. If you're a female watching this, you're gonna find something out. Um, and it has to do with them dealing with the same sex for some of you guys. Okay. Um, because someone seems to be on the low, are lying about. Someone's lying about the higher find is here twice. Okay, the King of Pentacles are reversed with the moon. Someone's hiding. Someone's lying about something. Are they're scared to reveal a deep, dark secret of their past to you? Okay. So someone was either touched when they were little, or someone is dating. Like like I said, it could be even two females, and you're dating each other, but they have a whole husband. A whole child, their the father of their child is in their life and everything and around them. Okay, it can be either or. All right, so let's hurry up and wrap this up. Let's see how you guys are feeling. We have the two of wands, eight of wands, eight of pentacles, reverse. So I feel like for some of you guys, um, eight of wands to the two of wands, you're kind of just moving forward. Um, the eight of pentacles in reverse is your is just like you're not putting effort or energy or anything into this relationship. You're kind of like you're trying to figure out how you're gonna move forward and if you should move forward. And um let's see. Let's see how the eight of pentacles is here in reverse. The queen of pentacles, and she's staring at her pentacle, the five of swords. Yeah, you feel like they're full of shit. You feel like this is bullshit, you know, mind games. You like you're like, I don't have time for this. Um you don't want to be in any situation where you feel like you're feeling defeated or challenged. Um, let's see how the Two of Wands is here. Going to the Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles. And for some of you guys, you don't want to feel let down or feel left in the cold. By the, it, it can be the new love or the ex. We have the Fool here, okay? So right now, I feel like where you guys are at, you're, just, you're focused on new beginnings. You're focused on a new path, new beginnings. For some of you guys, it's like you want love, you want this relationship, or you want things to work out with a new person, but you're also thinking about your life. What's destined meant for you, how you're going to move forward. You're thinking about the path you're headed down, stuff like that. So I feel like you're more focused on yourself and what's coming in for you um, is what I'm getting. And that's good because of the fools here. Yeah, seven of wands. You're trying to overcome challenges and obstacles in your life currently. And then when I pick up the deck, first thing I see is obstacles. So let's see like what's going on with you and how do you feel. Um, let's see how does the collective feel. Passion, okay. So I feel like there is a lot of passion and chemistry. We have blonde female. For some of you guys, you dyed your hair. Someone has on red lipstick. You can have green eyes, orange hair, red hair, like a cognac color in your hair as well. All right. Um, someone had on a denim outfit or someone had on a blue top or someone just loves blue. 
um, gossip and open relationship. Oh, so there is some gossip and we have open relationship. So there's going to be some gossip about, about a relationship and a friendship. For some of you guys, your friend messed around with your person or some someone that was close to you that you thought was your friend gossip or started some gossip, started some rumors or messed around with your person. You're going to find out. Ten of Pentacles, it could be a family member or someone really close to you with the gossip. And we have a Queen of Cups reverse. Yep. For some of you guys, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And there could be an, um, an Earth sign. I don't know what you boys are doing, but I'm almost done with this reading, so y'all better figure it out. Sorry, guys. Um, they be trying to get over on me sometimes when I be recording. They think I'm not paying attention. Um, let's see. Queen of Cups reverse, Four of Cups reverse. Mm. There's some gossip here. Let's see. Why is the open relationship card here? The King of Wands. High Priestess reverse. Yeah. For some of you guys, you guys are, like, you and your friend are talking to the same person or were, or you found out that you guys are talking to the same person. But if not, it's like for others of you, the gossip that you're about to find out is, like, I'll tell you the whole situation. The king of wands of the high priest is in reverse. Someone, you know, keeping a secret, lying, acting as if nothing's going on, nothing's happened. They don't know anything. You know, let's see how you feel towards this person in this situation. There's a lot of different energy here that I'm getting. Uh -oh. We have make the effort. So you feel like if they really want to be with you, they need to make the effort. They need to make and put the effort into this relationship. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And with that, we have a magician. So for some of you guys, you're manifesting new love. Or you have manifested new love. Or you're trying to manifest a new beginning with them. All right. But I would be careful with the whole gossip and friendship thing. Because I feel like there's something going on within a friendship. Are like maybe you're gossiping to your friends, but if you are, don't don't do it. So it can just tell me like you may be talking shit to your like to your friends about this person, like oh fuck them, I don't want to be with them, I hate them, or this person did this, or this happened, or that happened. And the cards are saying like just don't gossip because if this person comes back and and makes a solid offer, you're gonna get back at this person, you know. And it's for some of you guys, and it's just like you know like don't put people in your business, don't gossip and put people in your relationship, okay. So that's what I have for you guys today. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys in the next daily reading. Bye, loves.